Asuka was almost perfect at WrestleMania, and it still wasn't good enough to earn the victory against Bianca Belair. The EST of WWE was able to evade Asuka's poison mist, and we all watched Belair shine when she defeated the Empress of Tomorrow with her patented KOD. For our final WrestleMania match in the showcase of the Immortals, we go to the main event of night two of WrestleMania 39, with Roman Reigns looking to extend a near 950-day reign by defending his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes. Reigns had captured the WWE Universal Championship at Payback 2020, defeating any and all challengers. He then upped the stakes at WrestleMania 38, when he defeated Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship in another winner-takes-all matchup, thus creating the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. With the bloodline watching his back at all times, Reigns would always find a way to escape his matches still champion. Cody Rhodes had made his triumphant return at WrestleMania 38, appearing as Seth Rollins' mystery opponent and earning a big win. Unfortunately, an injury would take him out of action, but not before an incredibly gutsy performance in Hell in a Cell that saw him defeat Rollins again. At the 2023 Royal Rumble, Reigns would defeat Kevin Owens in a brutal matchup, while Cody Rhodes would make his return to action and win the Rumble match, setting up the WrestleMania main event. Cody had waited for years for this opportunity and swore that he would do everything to finally finish the story and captured the championship that had eluded the Rhodes family. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. Hold on a second here. What's going on? Oh, hey, Cody. Don't hey, Cody me, Graves. Is 2K pulling a prank on me? Really? I mean, I'm honored to be on the cover, and you guys didn't include Stardust, so thanks for that. But this, this is really what we're doing? Cody, come on. It's literally the most recent match to ever take place at WrestleMania. And the good folks at 2K thought it was a fine way to wrap this up, and. The match itself was pretty fantastic, too. It was pretty fantastic, wasn't it? Fine. Look, if I learned anything from last year's 2K Showcase, it's that you have to face your losses. At WrestleMania 39, I lost to Roman Reigns. But, Corey, I'm telling you, and I'm telling every member of the WWE Universe who plays 2K24, and that includes Roman Reigns, that the next time we do meet, nobody is going to save him, and I'll be the one getting his hand raised. Besides, you're still on the cover. And I'm thankful for that, Corey. Cody Rhodes attempts to finish the story against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39. There's still another chapter in this story, I promise you. But for now, we relive the most recent chapter.
Cody Rowe or Cody. Reigns was primed to get back on the attack after the interference of Solo, looking to smash Cody Rhodes in front of the massive crowd. Reigns was cruising, not having yielded the momentum once he got it. But like Rhodes earlier, Roman would take a trip to ringside that would take his control away. Roman's trajectory had changed drastically. It was all falling into place for Cody. Was this really it for the Tribal Chief?
Things really broke down later on in the match, though. The cover. We believe he's got it wrapped up. Who is going to kick out of a stunner? And would anyone feel bad if Roman Reigns lost like that? Cody's adrenaline was high, and he could see that Roman would appear and use his Samoan spike to obliterate Cody. You had to feel for Cody. All the work he'd put in to get back to this spot, and now the bloodline appeared poised to make it all for nothing. 